See how it, the, the concrete comes in? Yeah. I'm here with Keith Stellman of the National Weather Service in Adairsville, Georgia. I think that's what was in the ground. Some of the things we look for are how well things are constructed. So we'll, we'll come in and we'll look at, for example, this particular wall. Uh, we'll see that uh, it was fastened down, it was bolted down into the concrete, and the concrete was actually built around these fasteners in the, ground, in the, uh, in the wall itself. And the fact that the wall and the rebar were pulled off of the foundation of this and even broken in a few places uh, is significant. Combine that with the complete collapse of the structure gives us a pretty high end rating. Was that on the ground, that end? What are these beams? We'll look for any continuous path, uh, a path that doesn't pick up and separated by two miles or, or, or more. And the track will be rated the worst of the damage that we find within that track itself. The last part of it is total destruction of large section of building or right. entire building. Right. We have to go based on the strongest structure, not what we think the structure would have withstood. So yeah, we we're looking at the biggest structure and that would still look be the plant for determining what the ultimate rating is going to be. We know that we have damage from about the state line in Georgia to the other state line in Tennessee.